and Cook was tabbed as an IL Player of the Year candidate following an explosive 2022 in which he earned a reputation as one of D3's most dangerous players. He provides CNU with a million benefits, but the two that we're going to focus on to kind of narrow the uh, exact focus of this breakdown will be looking at Cook as a dodger and as a step-down shooter, two ways that he's really, really developed a reputation for himself as being particularly dangerous. And like we said, he's a super, super dangerous dodger, so we're going to go through and take a look at a few different clips, and he's going to be initiating from all over the place, all over the field, lots of different scenarios, but he's always, always dangerous. And so this first one is going to be a rare instance of a Salisbury misplay on a pick, where you get a bad switch, and he's able to, boom, make you pay right away. Attacks it right away before any defenders are able to step up and really get a hot guy. This instance, we're going to see him dodging on this high corner, and it's a little bit of a pass down, pick down look, and he's kind of going to refuse this pick and go under, and then really does a good job of slow playing this. So right here, you're going to get this defender going back to Auslander. You're going to get another defender on the pipe stepping out towards uh, Rice, and that's going to give him the space that he needs to tuck that stick, get back under, and finish. Here we're working in the Mustang Classic against Lynchburg, and he's going to be up on that far side over on that high corner over there. And then as this ball gets cycled over, he's going to go and start to work. And again, a little bit of a pass down, pick down look. And that should be somewhat of a theme that we see here in these clips with CNU and their settled offense. They do a lot of pairs action. And um, right when you think he's going to go set that pick, a little bit of a quick pass, and boom, he's able to attack the middle of the field. And once he gets to that spot, he's a lethal shooter and is going to make you pay. Here we're going to be working as a sweep. He gets over the top, right? We get a switch because it's big on big, and now we have a different pull on this matchup. Right here he does a really good job of creating a little bit of separation, selling himself as a feeder just so that he can tuck that stick, lower the shoulder, initiate contact, and barrel down on that pipe. So a really nice clip there, really smooth play, smart decision to go over, uh, over the top there and then pull up and re-dodge and get back down the alley uh, where he still has plenty of space. And because he dodges with physicality, he's able to come out of his split with plenty of angle and finish it. And the same exact thing happens here. Does a look really good job, except in this instance, it's not a re-dodge. He just dodges with physicality, takes his left hand, and because he dodges with initiating contact, when he comes out of it, he's in a good spot to shoot, especially since in that instance there's no slide. Same thing here, except it's an adjacent slide, and he just runs through it, right? Runs through the short stick that's on his hip, runs through the slide that's coming adjacent, and he's able to still just keep barreling downhill and finish it. And now here we're on the high right corner, and again, he does a really good job of kind of selling under and slow playing this situation, and now he gets back under, dip of the head, and a nice little subtle finish there that's going to help make sure that that goalie is off his toes and not really explode into the spot where he wants to finish. Here we actually end up with an assist, but it's going to be a really nice play working to get these adjacent slides from Salisbury. And so right here he sees he draws those eyes of that defender, gets him to show just enough, and he's able to hit Rice on a shallow cut underneath of it. And so that's a whole ton of him dodging. Now we're going to get into some step-down clips, and this is the best one of the bunch. This is like one of those dream situations. You're dead center, step-down, full to tilt. Hits off the pipe, off the back of the goalie's stick, and then goes back into the goal. So, great spot to get to with your hands free for a step down, and then ends up making him pay and puts it in the back of the net. Here you have one where he's going to be an EMO shooter, and you have another one of these coming up here soon. This time it's just off a redirect on a pass from X, and again, doesn't need to do anything special when you have that type of range. So even outside the hashes there is able to make Lynchburg play for being a little bit slow to get into his hands. And here you get Wesleyan again where you're given these opportunities because they're playing so much zone. And uh, in this instance, we're going to have him working again on that high right corner. Ball is going to come through his stick, back to top center, and then back to him for this right here on this little bit of a show. And then as this happens here, he's got all the time that he needs to step into it and then let that thing fly. And again, one of the best step-down shooters I think there is in all of D3. 
not just in terms of accuracy, but he really brings it and puts that thing in really good spots. And this will be the last one of the bunch, and this is kind of ironic that this play hits on Lynchburg because they used to run this bad boy all the time, but you're going to get a top center pump fake redirect. And right now he's working inside, and as this action starts there on this corner as Miller carries, he's going to replace underneath a forward, and then this drag here is going to do enough to kind of slough and suck that Lynchburg defense down. You get a pull there. He kind of gets a stick in the lane but doesn't quite get enough on it. And now he's able to catch it again and make you pay for it as a step-down shooter. So, again, Cook definitely one of these midfielders that injects the most fear into defensive coordinators and head coaches all around the country. And uh, one of these guys that you definitely have to keep a look on for 2023 in terms of being a player of the year type status at the end of the season.